OK, and good morning and welcome to you. This is our maths for, for this uh, for today, Monday the 1st of March, um, and we are moving on to something different. So we're going to be looking at and uh, re recognising coins. So we're going to be looking at money. So recognising coins, counting coins and recognising notes um, and adding uh, amounts together. It would be handy if um, you had some of these coins, sort of real coins that you can have a look at, um, but it doesn't matter if you haven't, it just might be helpful um, for you to, to do some of the work and also just to get a feel and have a look at some real coins. So let's get our brains um, going with a warm up. So let's have a look at these questions here. So for question one is what number is this? So see if you can work out what number it is. We've got two tens and three ones. What shape is this? Can you remember what that 3D shape is? And then order these numbers from the greatest uh, to the smallest and then calculate. That means add together nine, add six, and I've got a number line down here uh, to help you. So you might want to pause the video here and have a little go at those. So let's have a little look. So what is this number? Two tens, 10 and 10 is 20, 21, 22. 23 and I know lots of you are getting really good at working out those numbers. So what is this shape? This shape, and let's see if I can show you type it, is a pyramid. Oh, it's come out really big. Is a pyramid or square based pyramid um, if you wanted to write that, but I don't mind if you've just written pyramid. So this is a pyramid. And then order these numbers from the greatest to the smallest. So greatest, greatest means biggest. So we've got two two digit numbers and we've got uh, two, well, we've got three three digit numbers, but two of them have got two tens and this has got one ten. So we know that this has got to be the smallest. Um, so I might just have to type it underneath. So the greatest then the biggest is 28. Then we've got 22 and then as we would know that 14 then has got to be the smallest and then calculate that means work out add together nine add six if you're using the number line you've got nine there and we're going to add on six so we're going to go one two three four five six so I should have six bumps one two three four five six and I get to the number 15 and well done if you got those right. OK, so let's have a little look at these. So these are some coins. So we know that we have coins at that. Some of them are pence or pe pence and some of them are pounds. So let's see if we can just sort them out into pounds and pence. So this is a one P, so one pence. We've got five pence, 50 pence. Two, this is a two pound. This is two pence. This is one pound. And then we've got 10 pence. So well done there. So I'm sure that lots of you knew this. So these are our, so these are our um, coins here. And I don't know if anybody knows a, a coin that is missing from here. So we've got a one pence, two pence, five pence, ten pence, fifty pence. And if we look down here, you're right, and I'm sure some of you said that there is a twenty pence which is missing. And then here are our pounds. This is two pounds. This is one pound. And those are the only. Yes, we have notes, but those are the only pound coins that we have. OK, so let's see if we can match just gone over some of those. So we're going to match the names here. So we've got this is a 10 pence and we know it's 10 pence to make it slightly bigger because you can see the number 10 on it. And also if you've got a coin, you can look, it's actually got the word 10 pence around there. So we know that that's 10 pence. This is two and around there it says two pence. Here now this is a pound and it says one pound. This is five again, a bit small, can't really see, but we've got the number five in it, and also around here it says five pence. And then this is obviously one pence, so again, it's got the number one on it, and then it says one pence. 
this is 20 and it has got a number 20 and again it will say 20 pence we've got 50 pence it's got the number 50 on it and then it's got 50 pence there and then we've got two pounds so again it says two pounds on it so those are the coins those are the coins that we have uh, so when you go shopping and buy things those are the coins that you can use um, so 10 pence we've got some round one you'll notice that some of them are silver some of them this is called we call this bronze so the two pence and the one pence are bronze uh, the, pound, the coins have got sort of silver and gold on them um, most of them are circles the pound is not quite a circle it used to be but it's changed slightly and if you've managed if you've got if you're able to actually look at a pound coin um, in your hand you can see that it's not quite a circle and then you've got the 20 and the 50 again they're um, they look like hexagons but they're not um, they've got seven sides and the seven sided shape is known as a septagon so let's move on so let's have a little look and see if we can hear so here are some coins and we're going to see if we can count so how many 1p coins can we see so we can see one two so i'm going to write there are two 1p coins how many um 2p coins are there so we've got one two three how many 5p coins you can agree there's only one how many 10p coins one two three four and are there any 20p coins I can't see any 20p coins. I'm going to say zero coins there. OK, so let's have a little look then. So we're going to think about ordering these then to do with value. So from the least to the most value, that means how much they are. So to, that's to do with the number, not to do with the size of the coin. OK, but it's to do with how much they are worth. And we know that by looking at the numbers on them. So from the least, so which one has got the smallest number? So we've got 50, we've got 2, we've got 5, 10, 1 and 20. So we know that 1 has got the least uh, value because it's only 1 pence. Then we've got 2 pence, then 5, then 10, 20 and then we know we've got 50 pence is worth the most so just thinking about that so 50 pence means that's like having 50 pennies so if you had 50 pennies it would be the same as having this coin here okay so 20 pence then means 20 pennies so it'd be like having 20 pennies would be the same as having this coin 10 pence again so having 10 pennies would be the same as having a 10p coin five pennies five pence so if you had five pennies would it be the same as having five pence then obviously two pence would be the same as having two pennies so two pennies would be the same as having two pence okay so we can compare them then using our symbols i'm hoping we're getting really good with these symbols now so remember that this way it means less than okay or smaller than this way means more than or greater than so is 10 pence more than or less than five pence well we know that 10 is bigger than five so we know that 10 is 10 pence is more than five pence so we've got 20 here 20 and 50 so 20 is 20 less than or more than 50 have a think about that 20 so 20 is less than 50 and now we've got one pound and two pound OK, so one pound is one pound less than or more than two pound. When we know that one is a number that is less than two. So one pound has got to be less than two pound. And well done. And I'm sure 
that lots of you work that out. OK, so now what we're going to think about here, so it's not just recognising the coins, we're going to think about how can we add these amounts together? So when you're thinking about money, it's just thinking about adding numbers together. So it's working out what is five add two. So five pence add two pence. So put five in your head and count on two. So five, and I can hear you all saying, is seven. And we put the P to show that we're talking about money. This P there means pence, seven pence. So we've got 10 pence add two pence. What is 10 add two? So put 10 in your head, 10, one 10 and two ones. So 10 add two is 10, 11, 12. And again, we're going to write oh, the pence there. So 12 pence. OK, so we're coming on to some bigger numbers, but it's still the same. We've got 20 add five. Now you've got 20, so you're putting 20 in your head and then just count on from 20. So go 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 10. Okay, and the last one here, we've got 10 add 5. What is 1, 10 add 5? So again, put 10 in your head and count on 5. So 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. Brilliant. Okay, so it's just thinking about that. So when you're adding coins, the value of the coins together, you're looking at the numbers on the coins and you're just adding them together as, as you would normally do adding. Okay, now this might be a little bit trickier. So using the coins below, how many ways can you make 30p? So we need to make 30p, okay, using these coins, okay? Now I'm going to start really easy. I'm going to start with my tens because we can count in tens, can't we? So I can go 10, 20, 30. So I could have three tens. There, so I can make 30 that way. I could, I'm going to start with my fives and let's count in fives. I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, but that's not enough, is it? 20, 20, 20, and then if I add on another 10, I've got 20, 30. Fantastic. Okay, so that was another way. OK, and this time I'm going to look at my, tw I'm going to start with the 20. So 20, so I'm going to put 20 in my head. So if I want to get to 30, I go 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That is 10. So I could have a 20 and a 10 would make 30. So today, really, we're just having a little go and having a little look at looking at the numbers, thinking about how we can add those together. So this is your work for today. So the silver activity and remember the silver, we all have to do the silver and then the gold and the platinum are those are there if you want to really challenge yourself. So the silver is comparing, so using those symbols the, the more than, um, so the less than and the more than symbols to compare these, which is more than, so it's 20, more than or less than 10. You can think about those symbols. Have a go at working out these amounts. Remember adding together the numbers. So this one, we've done lots of this. This is two tens and a five. And then we've got one ten, two and two. And then we've already done this as part of the lesson, but again, it's just having to think about ordering these coins from the least to the most value. OK, and if you've got real coins, if you're lucky enough to have all these different coins in your house, then you might be able to do that practically as well. And then the gold is, so thinking about that one we did with the 30, find two ways to make 15p. So what numbers could you add together? So find two ways to make 15p. How can you make 15p? 
And then he says, this is a pattern. It says, Alex has two coins in her pocket. They total four pounds. Her friend Fernan says, Alex must have two one pound coins. Is he correct? Explain your answer. So Alex uh, is must have. So he's, Fernan is saying that one and one makes four. I'll give you a little clue there. So what coins would um, Alex have in her pocket that would make four pounds? OK, have a little go at those. And I'm going to well, I want to pause the video here and go back and then I will just move these slides on so you can see the answers. Mm -hmm. Things seems to have. Oh, sorry about that. It froze on me. Okay, and well done everyone.